I wasn't going to make another video about lifting potatoes at the moment. I'd lifted the first row when I decided I should, as Vivaldi with one of our trial varieties from last year. This is how Vivaldi looked at the end of June. It was one of our last varieties to be planted, not going into the ground until the 28th of April, which is late by our standards. Despite the growing conditions being very dry, like all our spuds this year, Vivaldi went unwatered. By the time the middle of August arrived, the foliage had died back. I decided I might as well lift them and see how they'd performed. Some of the homes looked fairly sturdy, so I was hoping this would mean a good crop underground. The homes went to join some other tops on some weed control fabric just to let them dry off. As you can see, the first row of Vivaldi looked good, and I was hoping for more of the same from the second row. Considering we'd had half an inch of rain overnight, the potatoes were nice and dry as they were lifted. I thought both the potatoes and the soil would be a lot wetter after the rain. These are the first couple of roots of the second row. You can see what I mean about the soil being dry. You'll probably also notice it's become very well compacted as well. I'll dig it over and leave it for winter rain and frost to break it down. I thought the dry conditions would result in lots of small potatoes, but I've been surprised by the size of the potatoes we've harvested. That's true of all the varieties I've lifted so far. The ground wasn't all that easy to dig, and I especially didn't want to spear any good potatoes. As I picked up each potato, I had a quick check to see if there was any slug damage. They were coming up very clean, just like the first row. No signs of any slug damage, or any other pest for that matter. broke up some of the larger clods of soil to make it a bit easier for the winter weather to do its job. Each time I've been making a video, it's rained a little bit and I've had to take shelter from the rain in the shed. Today, despite it being sunny and warm when I started, it wasn't going to be any different and the storm clouds came. At least it was a chance for a cup of coffee while the shower blew over. The shower disappeared, the sun came out and it returned to being a very pleasant afternoon. I'm now starting to dig up the last root. Check out how much space is left to fill in the bucket with only this last route to lift. I didn't think I was going to fill up the bucket which the first road done. If 
If all the roots had been like this one, I really would have had a magnificent crop. With more rain forecast, I decided to leave digging the bed over for a few days. A little bit more rain might, might make it easier to dig over. The final route was a really good one. I just seemed to keep unearthing potatoes every time I moved some soil or turned a fork full of soil. In the end, I only just managed to get potatoes in the bucket. My only concern is that I've found one potato with what I think is the first signs of blight. I've since carefully checked all the other potatoes as I've bagged them up for, for winter storage. I only found one other tuber that showed similar signs and they've both gone into the garden recycling bin. I'll have to check them over in a month or so's time though to make sure I haven't missed any blighted potatoes. I've added details of the planting dates and crop weights at the end of this video.